Hi everyone, my name is Aurora and welcome to this video. Today I want to share with you two outfits that I created. I want to show you that styling vintage shirts doesn't have to be so hard, that you can still make it look as comfy and casual as you want it to look and as business professional as you want it to, depending on your needs for the occasion or your overall preferred style. As you can see, there are two more outfits on this rack. Why? Because I actually filmed two videos, the other one is already posted. It's about two outfits that I created by combining vintage silk shirts with a faux leather fast fashion items. So if you haven't already watched that video, I will link it here. Also, since this week I'm focusing on vintage shirts, I thought that it would be amazing to actually pay the tribute to the shirt that started it all, and that would be this shirt that I'm wearing right now. It's a vintage shirt from the 90s or late 80s that I got from my mom when I was finishing elementary school, I think. I got so much wear out of this shirt. It's super comfortable, super soft, silky and fashionable actually because, you know, polka dots and stripes never go out of style and this shirt has them both. Also, this shirt is kind of giving me Picasso vibes for some reason, I don't know why but I just feel an urge to paint something when I wear this, especially in combination with high-waist, super comfortable pants. Anyway, enough about the outfit that I'm wearing right now, it's not the focus of this video. Let's dive actually into the outfits of this video. First outfit is gonna be a full 90s casual look. I kind of feel like Chandler from Friends when I wear this outfit but I think it's super comfortable, super fun, and it's also very easy to style. The shirt that I'm gonna start with is this beautiful vintage silk shirt that has multicolored flowers on it. I got it from an online vintage store from this girl in Serbia in June of 2020, and I love wearing it. It's one of my favorite pieces in my whole wardrobe so far, and I don't know, there is just something about it. It's so ugly that it's pretty. I don't know how to explain it. I think that's my overall closet aesthetic. Too ugly that it actually seems pretty. Anyway, uh, it has these beautiful iridescent buttons that just, I don't know, bring something extra to the outfit because your eye doesn't catch it in the moment when you see the shirt, but through the movement, you actually get a little glimpse of iridescence. I think it's beautiful. To pair off that shirt, we're gonna use high-waisted mom jeans that, as I said, make me feel like Chandler from Friends. Those pants would be this. Uh, I love those pants. The denim is super comfortable, although the fit itself isn't too good. This part here is a bit too short for me, so I sometimes get a bit uncomfortable. To finish off this outfit, we have two shoes options and I'm gonna show how each of them actually look at the end of this video, so stay tuned for that. Uh, the first option is to use these beautiful leather boots that I got last year. Uh, I think that the color combination goes beautifully. It feels light, fresh, and, I don't know, happy <laughs> that all outfit together. If I were to pair that outfit with those boots, I would also pair this beautiful faux leather jacket with it. Uh, the other boots that I would actually pair this outfit with are these vinyl boots. I love them so much, they're super comfortable because of their block heel and because they're black. I think that they go well with this outfit as a contrast uh, to this very casual upper part of the outfit and then you have those boots that are just Anyway, that would be the casual outfit. Now let's see what we're gonna do with the business appropriate outfit. To start off the business appropriate outfit, we're gonna use this button down shirt that I also got from that online vintage store. This is handmade, but in a manufacturing store, it actually says here that their shirts are made with exclusive fabrics and patterns because their brand actually is made to suit you and you couldn't be more honest here. I love this shirt. It's super comfortable, it fits well, it's breathable. You could literally wear this shirt in any climate season and it would still work for you. The only thing that I do not like is that because of the age of this shirt, the buttons actually start to get a little bit yellow and 
I'm not a huge fan of it because the shirt itself it's white off white a little bit because of the age and then those yellow buttons just bring it a bit down so I plan to actually buy new buttons and put them on instead of the originals I think it's just beautiful and super versatile you could wear it super casual or dress it up to be office appropriate I actually wore this shirt to office quite a lot and no one seemed to mind to pair up that button down we're gonna need some pants and the pants that I'm gonna use are gonna be these pants with a little bit of distress at the edges. I got these pants uh, around three years ago at my mom's store. I don't usually wear them quite much because they have a lot of stretch in them. They just get super loose very quickly and I don't like that. Maybe your office surroundings might not be super happy about that distress part and just roll it up and no one has to know okay like like the distress was never there on top of this outfit to make it more uniform and more office appropriate we're gonna use this beautiful beautiful trench coat that i also got last year i think that this trench coat brings something more serious into this whole outfit and the last thing that we need for this second outfit are shoes. I'm gonna go out of the limb and not use the shoes that I would actually use. And instead I'm gonna use that YouTube magic fact that I'm just not leaving my house in this outfit and that I don't have to be super comfortable. That's why I wanted to pair this outfit with a pair of shoes that I never wear outside but they thought would look amazing with this whole outfit because it will just tie it all in a monochromatic outfit. The shoes that I'm gonna wear with this outfit are gonna be these beautiful fast fashion shoes that I got, oh gosh, uh, many many years ago. <laughs> if you want to find out more about these shoes and why I actually don't wear them to the public, check out my shoe collection video. But long story short, these shoes are beautiful, but they are panning, yes, and they slip off your feet quite easily, so you could break your ankles. But they're pretty though, that's the only thing that matters. Okay, that would be the elements of those outfits, now let's see how they actually look when I put them on. For today's video i hope you enjoyed it i hope it inspired you to go through your closet and create new and unexpected combinations which brings me to the part of the video where i say thank you thank you thank you for all of your support for all of your likes comments and subscribes it really means a lot so yeah hit that subscribe button and i will see you some other time bye